Hi there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training company, PassMyInterview.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to pass a housekeeping interview. And in particular, I'm gonna give you a number of housekeeping interview questions, and more importantly, high scoring answers. So it does not matter what organization your interview is for, for this housekeeping position of yours, but I promise you, if you watch this video from beginning to end, it will make a big difference to your preparation. Now, before I get into those tips and all important interview questions and answers, a very warm welcome to my tutorial. My name is Richard McMahon. I've been helping people for 20 years now to pass their interviews, and I always focus on giving you top scoring answers that put you across in a positive light, and also that make sure you meet the requirements of the role. So I'm gonna give you um, answers to your housekeeping interview questions. Please do make sure you subscribe by clicking the red button below the video and then you're not gonna miss out on any of the weekly video tutorials on interviews that I'm uploading. And also, I would very much appreciate it if you gave the video a like. Thank you, thank you very much. Now, before we get into those housekeeping interview questions and answers, there are a number of skills and attributes that we need to make sure you demonstrate during your housekeeping interview. And there's only a short number of them, but these are really important, and this will make you stand out from the other candidates. First and foremost, honesty and integrity. These two things are really, really important. They're very important attributes of a housekeeper. So you will be talking about them when they say to you, tell, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm an honest um, person who acts with integrity at all times. You need to be honest because the housekeeping manager needs to put their trust in you. OK, really, really important. Um, number two, think carefully about the hours you can commit to before you go along to your housekeeping interview. What you don't want to do is be at the interview and say, oh, yeah, I'll, I will commit to all of those hours and then not be able to do them. So be honest. Think carefully about the hours that you can commit to and just be honest and then make sure you do commit to those hours. Now, of course, if you can work additional hours, maybe at weekends or on sociable hours in the evenings, that will obviously be to your advantage. Not everybody can do those, and it's not necessarily a prerequisite for the job. However, the more hours you can do, the better. Number three, high standards are imperative. So high standards of um, housekeeping are really, really important. So in the answers that are coming very soon, I'm going to talk about high standards. Number four, the final one, having an ability to carry out your duties safely and in line with your employer's guidelines is also a must. So following guidelines and operating safely, basically the, the housekeeping manager needs to be able to trust you to do your job diligently and professionally whilst following rules and procedures. So that's the four things that I'm gonna focus on when I give you right now these housekeeping interview questions and answers. Now you can take notes if you want to, um, but I will tell you where you can download the full set of 17 housekeeping interview questions and answers very soon. So please do stick around. Question number one. So they'll start off and they'll say, tell me about yourself. Now in this answer, we need to focus primarily on your work skills, attributes, and your professional standards. You can talk a little bit about your outside life, which I will do within this answer, but primarily we need to make sure you focus on work because that's all they're interested in. That is all they are interested in. So here we go. Here's my sample answer to tell me about yourself. I'm a hardworking, conscientious and loyal employee whose work is very important to me. Now outside of work, I do have a family to support and I understand the only way I'll get to provide for them long term is to be a professional and competent housekeeper who can commit to the hours necessary. I keep myself uh, generally fit and active, which means I have the motivation and enthusiasm to carry out my housekeeping tasks to a high standard. I'm also someone who, uh, who is naturally clean, tidy and organised, which I feel is a huge benefit to being a professional housekeeper. I'm also a naturally organised person who feels comfortable following set rules and guidelines. Now, in addition to these skills, I also understand how important it is for you to employ someone whom you can trust. I am a trustworthy person and my references will vouch for that. If you hire me as your housekeeper, I feel strongly you will be impressed with my levels of integrity, honesty and also my high standards of work. So that's a great answer. It's concise and it's logical, but it is also positive and it's loaded with keywords and phrases that match those previous skills and attributes that I put up on the screen that we need to make sure you demonstrate. Let's have a look at another question of your housekeeping interview. Why do you want to be a housekeeper? And what can you bring to the role? So why do you want to do this job? It's not an easy task. Sometimes it's a thankless task. So why do you want to do it? So here's my suggested answer. I basically want to be a housekeeper for four main reasons. Firstly, it is a job whereby I have control over the standards of work I produce. 
I am someone who sets high standards and as a housekeeper, it is my responsibility to carry out all of my tasks to the required standard as set by you, my employer. Now, secondly, I prefer to work on my own and being a housekeeper, I would work to the pace needed in order to get my jobs and tasks completed quickly and efficiently. Now, when you work as part of a team, you have to wait for others to catch up. Thirdly, I prefer to work methodically and as a housekeeper, I would always have a set plan in place for carrying out all cleaning and household tasks in a logical order. Finally, I like to please other people and whilst working as a housekeeper, I will get to have a positive impact on people's daily lives. So that is another really strong answer and it, it covers four main reasons. I think that's important. I want to be a housekeeper for four main reasons. So you've thought about that. So write down the reasons why you want to be um, a housekeeper and you might just have three reasons, but say at the start, I want to be a housekeeper for three or four main reasons and that then shows the interview panel that you have thought about this. You've already thought about why you want to be a housekeeper. Let's have a look at another housekeeping interview question. The job of a housekeeper can be stressful at times. How do you handle stress on a daily basis? Here's my sample answer. The best way to handle stress is to be organized and to never detract from the standards you set yourself. Stress is a direct result of being unorganized and also reacting to things without first of all thinking logically. Now, whilst working as a housekeeper, the stresses that can come your way are simply as a result of either not working quickly enough, not carrying out your duties to the right standards, and also reacting negatively to people who might not respect the work that you do. So, to reduce stress as a housekeeper, you simply have to be on time, work to the right standards quickly and efficiently, make sure you have enough cleaning supplies in stock, and also don't react to people who are either disrespectful or unappreciative. If you follow those simple rules, stress will occur infrequently and you will be a far happier and productive housekeeper. So that is an intelligent answer because it demonstrates that you understand what causes the stress. That's the important part. You're saying, whilst working as a housekeeper, the stresses that can come your way are. So then you, you would really thought about this so you understand what causes the stress and you are also mentioning there that you know how to, to keep it as low as possible because as a housekeeper there's going to be times that you will be stressed of course there will but you know how to handle it so it's another great answer now I've got two more questions to run through so please do stick around but there is a link that's appeared right there in the top right hand corner of that video if you click that link it will go through to my website where you can download all 17 <coughs> excuse me all 17 <coughs> housekeeping interview questions and answers in a document um, and you can be learning them within two minutes from now but do stick around and watch this next two questions. What are the main duties and responsibilities of a housekeeper? So the reason why they would ask these questions is they want to, to see whether you've read the job description and you know exactly what's involved. Because some people, they don't look at it, they see it as a job that, oh, I can do that job, I'll go along and do it. And then they're quite shocked at the level of responsibility that you have. And it's a very, very important role. It really is. Um, in an organization or if you're a housekeeper for an individual or a hotel wherever it is it's a really important role people they they don't appreciate how much work housekeepers put into keeping things um you know neat tidy clean everything stocked up it's a really invaluable role so let's have a look at this answer i've studied the job description for the position of housekeeper and the key responsibilities include cleaning rooms and common areas to high standards disposing of rubbish and trash reporting any maintenance problems or issues changing bedding cleaning restrooms, and also making sure ancillary items are kept stocked up. I would also be responsible for cleaning spillages, assisting guests where appropriate, and also being available at short notice to tend to relevant housekeeping duties. The role requires an ability to work to a high standard, be able to carry out all tasks in a timely manner, and also be available as and when needed and as requested by the housekeeping manager. Okay, so that demonstrates that you've looked in to the role the main duties and responsibilities of a housekeeper. So they won't come as a shock when you have to do them, really important. Another question, which parts of the housekeeping job will you enjoy the most and which will you find the most challenging or frustrating? That's a really good question, difficult to answer. Here we go. I think the parts I'll find the most rewarding will be seeing the results of my work on a daily basis. Now, whilst some people would find the repetitive tasks frustrating, this is the part I'd actually find the most rewarding Carrying out the same tasks to the required standard is a challenge I would actually enjoy. In terms of the parts I would find the most difficult, it would probably be in terms of making sure other people's work is to the same standard as mine. I would imagine there are some housekeepers out there who just carry out their work to the minimum standards, whereas I like to do my duties to a high standard. 
I would also find suppliers who let you down to be a little bit frustrating. However, I do have a naturally positive attitude and I would simply focus on my own work and carry it out to the same high standards always. So that is a good response, especially in respect of the challenging or frustrating aspects. Um, but you are mentioning, and this is important at the end, you're saying I've got a positive attitude because that's what you need. I mean, whenever I've come across housekeepers, whenever I've stayed in many hotels in the past, they, you know, they, they do a brilliant job. I really appreciate them. And they're always very happy and always very positive. Um, and you need to be that when you are a housekeeper. So if you want to download those full set of 17, click that link again and it will take you through. I'll just quickly show you to my website here, passmyinterview.com. The 17 housekeeping interview questions. So I've listed them all here. You've got those ones that I've covered in the video to save you having to write them down. And then these 17 um, more questions for your housekeeping interview. There's also some tips on the page there, five tips for passing the housekeeping interview. So do read them as well. So that's on that link there in the top right hand corner. I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button. I'd appreciate that. I love creating these videos for you guys. Um, yeah, say hi in the comments section below. And if you have any questions, let me know. I wish you all the best for passing your housekeeping interview and have a brilliant day. Thank you for watching.